Hello and welcome back once more and forth here with more DS X Human Revolution. We are heading to the Alice Capsule Pod area where we discovered the hacker Ares has taken refuge from the PMC company Bell Tower, I believe they're called. Um, for some job he's done in the past, but supposedly he's a well renowned hacker with a lot of background knowledge, some of which is probably relevant to our situation. Um, according to the summary that it gives you when you're loading the screen, Bell Tower are contracted by the Chinese government. So how is that going to work in? We already know the, the American government might be involved in the cover-up with the Homeland Security Force. Right but now the Chinese government as well. It's a bit suspicious. Hey there. Ah, uh, Hall. Thank you. We need to go see the arms dealer as well. I just, with all the vents in this place and all the open space, at least there's a lot of um, civilians. I, I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bergen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Hmm. Seems like she's most likely a beta personality, but it could be wrong. Malik. Jensen, if you even think of using that Casey mod on me, I will hit you. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just concerned, that's all. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed, murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Yay, more side missions. I expected to be more. This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can improvise. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot too, knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Two better talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse <laughs> someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. 
No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Now we have our primary mission we and we have the side mission. I'm thinking we should probably help Malik out. She is our pilot and if she owes us a favor... Well, it might turn out positive for us in the future. To be the good guy, and I like to be new. I like to be the good guy most of the time. So let's go up and check this pod first of all. Um, hopefully, Airy can wait. Contact has agreed to meet you tonight. I don't know how large or small this window of opportunity is or how long it will remain open to us, but it's the only thing we have to go on. Hopefully we can trust him. I'm sorry I can't be any more help on this. Caucasian female, dead on arrival, probably will fall downstairs. Only witness his boyfriend who was found at scene. Evelyn Carmichael. Don't recognise the surname. Head trauma, cranial lacerations, internal bleeding, swelling. Li Hong. Responding officer witnessed on the ground. Victim was unresponsive. Suspect, suspect wearing a t shirt covered in what appeared to be the victim's blood was questioned by res responding officer. Maggi. Sus sus suspect is physically distressed. Claim the victim had been drinking prior to the incident. Confirming the suspicion of intoxication. While the blood cast off patterns match those of a fall, there was no evidence of how low to medium velocity impact. Probable cause of blunt force head trauma.
Rooftop pitfalls claim another. Ah, okay. A witness who identity will not be released claims she slipped and fell while descending one of many staircases. With elections just around the corner, Evelyn's death will no doubt spark a new host of debates and controversy. That's a nice touch, having the um, the old Deus Ex music going in the background there. Oh. Okay, so let's get going to this limb clinic. Can I remember the passphrase? No, hopefully it reminds me. Oh, this way. How's our Praxis doing? We have one... Are we going to save up for something? Most likely either Stealth or the Icarus Landing System, I'm guessing. <laughs> I like it how Malik knew we were going to use the, um, the KC speech motivator, I suppose you can call it. I suppose if anyone knew we were going to use it, it would be her. I had a bit of a mind though for future. Some people who are ex like specially trained may actually know that we possess, or could possess such a mod. You're referring to the Panchea project, the cooperative global initiative that is the Kiwi We have yet to go to the, I forgot what it's called, the Taiwan medical sector. In the, and I do have that smart card. Does anyone have a particular name? I just need to ask around and use the passphrase to a few people and see who comes up with the right response. We can do that. It may not even be a man, it might be a woman. You speak English? I have been waiting for a long time for this surgery. Unless it's the guy here. Ah, hi. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Liberty in mind and body international. Very cloak and dagger. This guy's probably been watching too many spy movies. As Adam said. Left down steps on the corner. It doesn't happen often, but it's here. Hello. Over here! Come on now! I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, though not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. 
Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be generous. For speaking of corruption. And what were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. It, never mind. Just take your money. This report better be worth it. Oh, I assure you it is. Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, right. Nice doing business with you, X. I could just shoot him and take the money back now, but, yeah. Uh, we need this button. No, no, we need the tab for this. That's the one we need. Delete me. <laughs> Smash the state. That's um, the NSF password from the original game. Yeah, interesting. Mental note, after extraction, remove all traces. All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. Interesting. Car Evelyn Carmichael, 23 years old, female. No alcohol, no drugs. So she wasn't drunk, as the report says. Whoop. Cause of death is asphyxia by seizure, so we craniocerebral trauma. A high level of human chronic pruvava, bloody hell, granitopen. A hormone produced by the early stages of pregnancy. Oh dear. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. You think he would have erased all the evidence, but... We're a friend. We won't judge. We'll just do what we can. Oh, we need to head back to the district. Oh, he's going to be in one of those apartments that we hacked into. He might be on that level one, am um, Apartment we couldn't get into before because the woman was there. Can we gain access to the apartment to the district this way? Hi. Oh, you're busy. Okay. Filing your nails. That's fine. Ah, hi. You also doing your nails? No, you're smoking a cigarette in an enclosed room. Good luck with that. Oh, okay, we're behind enemy lines, so to speak.
fue, eh. Pues ella. Wait, is that not the apartment I thought he was going to be in? Sorry, I'm walking into you. Well, Lila. Hey, that's smart. Yo, you go. Kind of chill out. Shin Shin. Hmm, who are you talking about? Shin the Ling Jian. What's for? Interesting. Let's get on the roof and see if we can access it from there. Ah, there you go. I thought it was a mine or something there. It's like a gas or electric meter. Level 3 security rating. Let's see how this goes. One, two. Oh, bloody hell, we've got detected already. seem like anyone's home but we've been wrong before computer terminal we can't access the wardrobe and no closing Mallard I'm inside V's apartment doesn't look like anyone's home damn okay look Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Uh, that's what we've kind of been doing. Oh, we can access the terminal now. Oh. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. I suspect we're going to get a visitor. Oh, we've got this, the phone there as well. Let's check the bathroom first. This is where, years ago, he washed his hands to clean off the blood. Jensen, I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. Great. She's hacking our private info link. Master Player 69. Really? Really? This is his... I'm not even gonna go there. The AO port's miles away. Let's try to work our way there first before we set off any alarms, hopefully. Nice. Okay, let's take this one. Wow, nice. Access 
Success granted. Very well done, Adam. Uh, Lim, Random Walk Limited. By Donna Chung. If I want to be the forwardest to you, it's a quarterly report concerning, concerning your family's recent investments. I'm still awaiting on the financial statements on Bell Tower Associates. Why was Bell Tower again formed as well? It's personally tight lipped when it comes to business, but then again, I'm not surprised. They are privately owned. Considering your father's exec executive holdings, you'd think they'd be more forthcoming. PPS, are we still on for Friday? So that might have been the lady who was on the phone there. Maintained it by. Company reported stronger than anticipated financial performance. Do not disgrace us. Probably from his dad. Zhang Hao. Your behaviour as late has been disgraceful. Up until now, I've done everything in my power to support and protect you, but my patience is running thin. You dishonour us all with your whole mongering. Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behaviour and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. <laughs> we got a baseball bat. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Ah, so it's clicked, okay. Let us go back to the hive then. Jesus, Aries having to wait a while. Um, it's this way, isn't it? Hi there. Good to see you again, sir. Go right in. Thank you very much. I wonder if we're going to have to use our Casey skill on Hong to get him to confess. It's Malik. I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. Yeah, I figured as much. Let's just save, cause... So far I've been lucky with the latest persuasion skills, but it could all go horribly wrong. Especially in public. Lee is probably gonna be... Somewhere private, I imagine. Don't mind me, taking your wine. That's the guy. That's the steward of a save. What do you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, piss off! 
I already told all you knuckles all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck do you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. Alright. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident. And the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Walk away from Lee. <laughs> Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Huh, okay. What do you want me to do?
Oh, this is gonna go well. Are the guards gonna let me go in here? They are. Uh, they don't seem to be watching, and they seem engrossed. Holy crud. Haven't seen one of these in a while. What's the easiest way to do this? It isn't really. Well, that way is the way to go. This could be bad. Yeah, I figured as much. Might have to use a stop worm. Can we get it in time? Ooh, we've had these three stuff worms. Alright, Malik. Attacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Okay. Oh, Malik's gonna be outside. Ah, we got our two Praxis now, excellent. We used quite a few of our stop worms there. It could have been better. I am thinking we should do hacking stealth then. To make our hacking easier. And we'll go for the Icarus landing system afterwards. So what exactly did you do? Let's find out. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you going to do now? I have no. a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Face the hive exterior. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three. Oh, let us save then. This might be a memorable moment. Two. Malik. Just watch. Malik, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. It's repeating. Nice. <laughs> okay. I will leave this part here. Next time we'll finally go back to the Alice capsule pods and catch up with Aerie, the hacker. So, yeah, that was, well, that was worthwhile. We've gained some praxis out of that. I hope you've all enjoyed the show as well. Uh, this has been Anforth, and I'll see you all for more Deus Ex Human Revolution in the very near future. Till then, take care. And bye-bye.